It is snowing so much outside right now. It is such a snowstorm. And I just want to snuggle here. I just want to like be all cozy on the couch. I feel like I don't want to be productive today. <laughs> This snowstorm outside it makes me just want to be inside all day and just hibernate almost I just wanted to chat for a little bit and I thought we could have a little cozy time drinking my coffee literally just having a very slow and nice day I've had a lot of headaches lately been feeling a little bit unease at unease 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 and yeah I I just thought this would be a good moment to sit down and make this video a little bit like a sit down chat and also a little cozy first of all i want to say thank you for all of your nice loving support on my last video i really appreciate it and i think so many of us are in the same situation not knowing what to do after college and it doesn't even have to be after college it could be you know if you're just in a stage in life where where you feel a little bit lost and I wanted to talk a little bit more about like a little life update since my last video I actually started a new job. I started a job in retail just so uh, really just so I can get some money and not be without a job. I think it's a great job to have for now until I figure out really what I want to do. I have been working for like a month now and it's going well but I live far away from the city, I have to commute every day, so it takes more than an hour for me to get to work. And it's been a bit of a struggle, honestly. I I don't know, I feel like I it takes a lot of time, uh, of course, and I sh know I shouldn't complain, I know people are doing this every day, but I just like can't stop thinking about this is what, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, you know? Um, and I'm really trying to just appreciate the moment right now but at the same time you know i'm trying to figure out what's the next thing yeah so next week my long distance boyfriend dylan is coming back to sweden um he's from the u.s so we've been having long distance for three years now which is just crazy <laughs> it's so insane it's so wild um i can't believe we've made it so far and we're actually, you know, talking about closing up the long distance. It's super exciting. We have a lot of things to plan and decide about. And I feel very, very hopeful. Like right now, I just feel like I just want to be with him. There's nothing else that I really want to do. I just want to start my life with him. Because when I'm with him, I just feel he brings like the most creative parts out of me. Like he pushes me in, in like a healthy way and he makes me very motivated to, to keep making my videos. And I feel like we could do really cool things together. I think that this next season of life is gonna be really exciting. Who knows how long I will be here um, in Sweden for. Um, I, I look outside right now and it's it's so beautiful. This, this storm, they were so stormy this morning, but it has kind of calmed down a bit. There's just like snow everywhere and it's super beautiful. But I also like, I'm craving adventure. I'm craving warmth. I'm craving the sun. This season, this fall has been quite tough on me, honestly. And I know I shouldn't complain about it, but 
the darkness i don't know what's been going on i have been so um affected by it i feel like i am just like craving some new kinds of environments i have been living in sweden for over three years now and i used to travel all the time i lived in the u.s for two years i traveled asia and i feel like there are so many great places to to see um but at also at the same time i'm really trying to accept where i am and appreciate where i am because sometimes that thought in your head is like more so like running away from what you have and not really appreciating what you have i know there are so many exciting things ahead of me being here right now is is nice it's good i really love being with my family so much but at the same time like i feel pretty done with it um, i i live in at my parents house now and it feels like you're taking a step back in time and suddenly you're you're back on zero almost um and it's really weird um i feel like when we grow up we always have that pressure of doing more being more productive like becoming the best versions of ourselves and i think that so many people understand this and can relate i don't think the best version of ourselves are to to be the most productive it's not to you know earn the most money or be the best or i don't know it's just what if we could just like stop for a minute and just think about what we're doing great right now instead and i feel like i have been thinking a lot about that lately and trying to balance that productivity with also like a slow intentional life to live i'm also right now really really close to finishing my yoga teacher training i just have like the assignments left and i'm thinking about making a video about that as well. I have so many ideas of what I want to do with that because of course I want to teach. I want to teach yoga, I want to talk about important things about life, what I am passionate about, I want to inspire people. So if you would be interested in maybe getting some YouTube videos about yoga or yoga classes online, just let me know. Um, I'm very excited to to start that journey as well i think i'm just gonna read and have a slow day because now when i'm working i have really come to realize it's you know you really have to take advantage of the time off i know i have so many things that i want to do but i also really need to take the time to rest and just do something that's not like i have to do this you know i'm trying to put my thoughts away from that and just today i'm just gonna take a restful day we all need that cozy up um under a blanket reading a book maybe watching a show yeah i hope that you'll find this video nice and cozy and i hope you will have a wonderful rest of your week and i'll talk to you next time